welcome back to the channel everybody in the last video one of my last videos uh i talked about how i crashed my uh swell pro uh drone you know 15 minutes into owning it i re damaged a few of man that one still looks bad there's some nicks in it i got two brand new motors on it I got a new GPS cover, went to fly, uh, started up and it would not work. Uh, the screen was uh, acting up. Luckily, I did have another um, GoPro or uh, another um, Splash drone. So I was taking parts out of this and putting it in that drone to try seeing what was bad and what wasn't bad. So um, I believe I figured out what it was and... Um, I ordered some more parts. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you a cost of what I, what this crash has cost me, what the motors cost, what the GPS uh, receiver cost, and what the other parts I ordered cost. In the uh, video up here, um, I'm going to show you. Uh, it, it it shows you how to take this all apart. I already documented that uh, video, so I'm not going to um, go through all that. So from the process of elimination that I did, I came up with, uh, after talking, customer support for this product is like, I've never seen anything as good as this. Now, you do have to stay up late to talk to them, like, regularly, or it'll take you days to get through to them, but I mean, I... I was up until 3 o'clock in the morning, and I think we had 15, no, 20 to 30 emails back and forth. I emailed them, bam, they emailed me right back. But, I mean, they're 12 hours behind us. So you got to um, plan it that way. So I ordered a new flight controller and uh, the ribbons to go with it. So I believe that's it. And as I said before, I broke the... The mounts in here that mount the gimbal on. So I told them I wanted a new um, a gray piece because inside it, um, and I did get that today. I got a new um, new shell. I'm not gonna put the top on because the top has already got the motors mounted and they're water tight. But in this uh, shell, these uh, this little piece right here that holds on the circuit board. One of those broke off and um, it was really, uh, wouldn't let me, when I pushed on the power button down here, it would lift the whole board up. So it wouldn't let me like hit the power button good and everything. So we're gonna um, try to install these new parts and see if we can't bring this thing back to life. It's been a while. I do have another one, so I haven't been, so I haven't been without a drone. So, in the video, like I stated, on how to replace the motors, uh, the, uh, I already posted uh, up above. You can go check that out, and it shows you how to take all this apart. I'm not going to go through it again. It's a ton of screws on the bottom of it. You can see all the screws. You take all those screws out. I already unplugged this. Here's the GPS. So, uh, I'm going to set this camera up so you can see what we're doing. And I already, um, in that video, I also showed you how I label all of these wires. I, I labeled them all so that I could plug those back in. So let me get this camera set up so you get a view of what I'm doing. Okay, so let me move this controller out of the way. And I already did do a lot of uh, the removing of this thing. These things, uh, clip on, but uh, these power wires that go, these power wires right here that go to the motors, they were like zip tied onto here and they had some like epoxy or something holding them on. And uh, this board only had uh, four screws in it. And then um, there's some uh, LED lights that go up and plug into the board. So I already took the, cut the zip ties off of these. 
got them free. I labeled those like I did in the other video. And then I pulled the four screws out of here. So this comes straight out. So this is the brains of the operation right here. This is the piece that we're going to change out. I hope. Let's see if we can get it off this board without breaking it. Okay, there is an arrow on it that says front that way. So we'll make sure we put that back on that way. And it's got some two-way foam tape. And there is an arrow on the board. Look at that, so it's th that way. So this is what we've came up with, customer service and myself, on what is wrong with the uh, drone, as you can see. This is the flight controller. It's got a ton of little wires on it. I did a, when you buy the, uh, when you buy this flight controller, the new flight controller, it does not come with the ribbons, but I gave this thing such a beating. I um, did want to make sure that um, I got new ribbons with it too. I just didn't want to deal with any, uh, what if, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna get these ribbons on. This one's got four connectors, and this one's got five connectors. Look at all these connectors. Okay, so this side's got two, four, five, and this side has four. There is, I do have a PDF file. They did give me access to their PDF file. But what I'm gonna do is unplug these. See, I got my very first two wires on this piece right here is red, black, go right down the line. So I'm gonna go down the line, red and black. And then I'm gonna go down the line on this one, red and black. I'm just gonna take those off and put the new ones in their place. So this does not, Look right to me. Okay, it goes like, this is the four one. This is the four one, red and black. Okay, so we're gonna pull that first one off, the red and black one, and then we're gonna put this red and black one in its place. The next two wires, are black and yellow so i'm just going to track them i'm going to pull them off one at a time and put them back in place so i know everything is right so this one is here and it went on with the black facing up Okay, so next is yellow's going towards me. I'm gonna pull this one off. Then we'll put that one on, yellow towards me. And then this last one, red is to the outside. Pull that off, put red to the outside. So there we go, ribbon one is changed. We're going to set this because this ribbon may be good. I'm going to keep all the spare parts. I know the flight controller ain't good, so. Wait, what did I do? I just put that back on the old flight com computer. Why did I do that? All right, let's put this on where it goes.
Now I don't know what I'm doing. Just switching these ribbons over. I'm just gonna switch it. All right, let's make sure I got them hooked up right. I think this is a new controller. Okay, I um, looked up the um, PDF file and um, they are hooked up right. I just wanted to confirm, I hate to put this thing together. We'll put all these parts in the back. I do have some, uh, some Velcro with the sticky tape there. So we're gonna make a couple of uh, attachments to hook this thing to. Okay, that arrow's pointing towards me. That arrow's pointing towards me. We're gonna stick that on there. All right, that's on there good. Now we'll uh, plug it in. All right, so the flight controller has changed. 